Hi guys, Retro Django here, just with another short update video. So the Amiga 4000 is working now. As you can see, I have installed the Cyberstorm 040 card. I have installed a CF card. The PSU is perfect. The thing is, as I said in an earlier video, I was really anxious to know how this little SCSI hard disk was doing what it has, uh, what it contains. But as you can see, I have uh, plugged it into this Z Zorro 3 RAM card here with the SCSI. It boots, it makes the clicking sound, and it, it makes all the, all the sounds that it should do. I have tried it with this drive only, but I have also tried it to boot with the internal IDE. Uh, both times it doesn't get the SCSI drive. Um, it's so sad. I was I was really looking forward to if this one worked, what it contained, because it made demos and music back in the 90s with expansion cards in this game, in this uh, Mega 4000. But it is what this guys. I I have no other idea than then this little uh, Zorro 3 card, RAM card here, it has some different jumpers here and at the front. So I'm gonna go in and uh, take a look at, maybe we have a chance with some sort of jumper adjustment to make this drive work and be a bootable drive. That could be great, guys. So stay tuned, I'm working on it, and I hope it will work. <laughs> cross your fingers for me because if it has got great software we're gonna share it in the community have a great day out there guys just a little update video retro Django out